it's a pleasure to uh, welcome uh, kumar vikram singh on our bajaj alliance general insurance uh, instagram live uh, uh, i will again introduce you uh, to kumar uh, vikram singh ji uh, sir has been uh, sir is currently standing he is a chairman for uh, central association of private security industries capsi and for lancer network limited he has been uh, he has served as a president and chairman for world association of detectives Uh, he is an advisor he was an advisor uh, for internal securities to prime minister of india uh, in the year uh, 19 uh, in the year okay in the year 1990 and 1991 uh, sir is an author of uh, world in encyclopedia on security science and management uh, sir uh, it's a long list in fact i think i will not be able to complete it within this session time <laughs> if i keep on talking about you uh, so uh, and uh, one important part uh, sir which uh, i was thinking is uh, uh, how did this uh, detective overall uh, point came in your mind when you started this fraternity uh, what is the history of this detective uh, and investigation activity in india uh, what all you have done to develop this sir uh, if you could tell to all our uh, people over here sir methodology of gaining information and intelligence gathering was started by Chanakya the Great, who was the Prime Minister with the Subrat Chandra Gupta Maurya, and the methodology, the systems uh, he evolved at that time of gaining information about his own people, adversaries, and uh, neighboring state to protect themselves uh, and to give uh, right information to the king. Uh, the the fundamentals he he evolved at that time are still being followed by all the global intelligence organization of every country you name it, intelligence organization of a country they are following still those things are uh, being practiced and uh, mm. so it's i'm feeling proud to say that the methodology of gaining information was started by uh, chanakya in india which is not followed as far as uh, my thing is concerned uh, being from the army being from the army intelligence i worked on uh, a various such an assignment so when i came out of the army and i was uh, fully qualified to start this business of intelligence which was uh, that time was a totally new obviously nobody ever heard of uh, uh, private investigators people were aware of james bond stories and sherlock holmes stories uh, they were quite aware of it and uh, colonel vinod story used to get published in hindi also but uh, uh, there was no we were only four five people at that time i have, i was one of the pioneers because i could understand that thing which were happening in america and europe country about uh, uh, you know collecting intelligence about uh, uh, business and personal affairs uh, i i knew that uh, after 10 years this will become a need in indian corporate world also and for indians also so it at that time i started as a uh, private investigator and uh, uh, i started my investigation uh, for matrimonial purposes that was the first one you know matrimonial is a very big issue in india and uh, yes. it was uh, it was a, a great beginning and slowly gradually now our company is almost 40 years old uh, we have uh, done a lot of lot of things and as far as uh, and in fraternity is concerned uh, then you know slowly people started realizing the importance of private investigation the corporate world started realizing and uh, especially for the litigation and sport purposes so i was the one, first person who introduced the word corporate intelligence and litigation sport and intelligence i used to go to the various bar councils tell advocates that it is not only your oratory will help you to win the case you must have a you know tangible You, uh, you know uh, information uh, by if you have the information material fact with you you can you can impress the judiciary instead of only oratory which people picked up very well now corporate intelligence litigation sport and intelligence fraud detection uh, your insurance investigations and uh, you know various kind of investigation your uh, say what uh, uh, counterfeit detection is another one and matrimonial dispute land dispute no government also realized that this is a, a, a one a one uh, service which uh, is really giving a good service to the industry so then we formed uh, apdi it is called association of uh, 
professional uh, uh, private investigators. Now we have so many in India and abroad also. Uh, uh, there is there this uh, no corporates, almost you know they they uh, hire uh, private investigators uh, to gather uh, strategic information, so wonderful information, so that they can take a right decisions also. You know decisions are made after you get uh, a proper information, reliable information for your corporate functioning also. Sir, uh, uh, I am actually, uh, it's a highly informative point which you have shared uh, that long time back uh, during the reign of Chandragupta Maurya, when uh, Chanakya has started this activity and believe me, uh, today the current world needs a lot of uh, support from um, the, uh, the points which were mentioned by Chanakya. We are also following today uh, as a political parties and most of the corporate world, if we follow him, we are uh, towards the success. And yes, I agree. If information is there, you will be able to win the world. If you are lacking behind the information, you will uh, be lost uh, behind. Correct information. Sir, correct. Yes, you correct know, information. information is the correct information. That's more important. You, you get junk information all over, but the private investigator will give you a verified, correct information. That's it. Exactly. Yes. Sir, uh, I recall uh, during my childhood days, uh, on lighter note, yes, we all were attracted towards the romantic movies, romantic stories, but nevertheless, always adventure and uh, detective stories has been the most uh, uh, attracted uh, part for us. And even today, my child's uh, at home, uh, when I see they they play uh, games related to detective, they read, they like, they like to read stories of investigation and detective. And even if you see the movies which are coming up today, wherever there is investigation angle, it gets hit movie uh, yes. compared to the romantic one nowadays. Yes. So, uh, and if, if I see your association with uh, the World uh, Detective Agency as a president and chairman, sir, I would like to understand what is the basic, uh, if we compare Indian detective scenario with the Western world or the developed world, where do we stand and what are the uh, positive points and the improvement areas for us. See, detective or investigators, they have the same mindset. Either you're yes. running in the United States or in uh, Israel or in India or anywhere, like doctors, you know, you have a doctors, they have a mindset, they have their psychological background and they have those, uh, you know, potential things to uh, many things according to their profession. So detective in India and detective abroad is uh, one and the same thing. They use almost same methodologies. And uh, the, the, the major difference is that, uh, you know, um, you see, the Western world was a little more advanced uh, uh, as far as the corporate uh, functioning was concerned and their decision-making process, the method of management were concerned. So the, they, 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 they were a little more advanced. But Indian detectives were, you know, more brilliant. They are more innovative. I have don't have, the Western is different. They use they started using various kind of instruments, and uh, we started using instrument only a few years ago. Otherwise, everything was a footwork. Your uh, your intelligence was based on raising your sources. You know how to raise sources. If I want to get information from your company, I have to have some undercover agent working in your company, to have an undercover working in any company, you have to raise a source with them. So raising a source is a, is a, is a highly technical thing and it's a, it's a great art. You know, so, so you build those, uh, see. So as far as we are concerned, uh, India is, is a very good. I personally, let me tell you, I became the first Asian to become uh, director with the WAD, which was formed in 1925 in USA. And there were only 1,000, uh, you know, uh, top elite investigators. They, they may be the head of the intelligence organization in the country. But I got elected there as a director. From director, it took me seven to eight years to become the president. Then uh, for third president, second, first president, then chairman. Now, it was unique, uh, uh, you know, honor for me, recognition of our ability as an uh, investigator, as a detective. Uh, that uh, these world people, they, they, they elected me to head their uh, such a elite organization. And uh, uh, now we have a good position internationally. They recognize us very well. 
Wow, great sir, great sir. And uh, sir, uh, obviously about you, uh, there are a lot of, as I told you, there are a lot of stories which we cannot end up uh, in this session. And we will uh, like to have two, three more sessions with you to complete all those. But one thing which uh, has, uh, which has been uh, known to many people, or where when it comes to Indian, Indians are very innovative in terms of innovation, uh, in this uh, information sharing and information collection this process uh, we should be proud of it sir thank you yeah thank you for that uh, sir coming to one general issues which uh, today most of the people uh, they are not aware of the current situation uh, if they are cheated uh, so many times what happens people get cheated they fall in that fraud trap they don't know how to react on those situation uh, so first is what should they do and what as a corporate we should do to keep them aware um, so that they should not fall in this kind of traps i tell you sanjeev a person who gets cheated is they deserve to be cheated oh. <laughs> okay because i tell you who gets cheated who's a greedy fellow you know, you, you show a something new scheme to make more money. You show a rosy picture to somebody and it it's evoke your greed element within you. You get so many, you know, emails from the world over, I mean, and some wonderful uh, money transfer schemes uh, on the uh, internet and all that. So they, they know that they, there is a greed element in one person. If you touch them and show them the, that kind of, uh, you know, rosy picture, people do get sucked into it. No, only thing is that if you, uh, uh, if you are not a greedy, if you are not greed for money, you will never be get cheated like we tell you. No, it is, it is your greed that takes you uh, to a wrong side. And uh, uh, there's no way, I mean, say, if you want to uh, create an awareness uh, among the people, Government is doing it. I tell you, uh, every time government makes various kind of schemes or uh, awareness programs, but all the Lance is running the such program, the other corporate people running uh, program, uh, awareness program, was once again, I am say it is a, it is a, it, it is a personal trait of a person who fall prey to these things. Ki, okay, you can say, we have itne percent 27% aapko interest milega. Re, kaun de sakta 25%? No, people do fall into it. He said, aap kitni paunji scheme thi? Imagine, how many paunji schemes are the best example of greed? There are so many hundreds of such uh, things going on and log uspe phas jate hain. Or uspe greed ki wajah se phas jate hain. Or to koi baat hi nahi hoti hain. Aap jitni marji awareness kar lije. Sir, one uh, point uh, which comes in my mind uh, with this, obviously greed is uh, the reason why uh, people fall in trap. But do you find any correlation between economic slowdown and the instances of fraud? Uh, greed is one thing, uh, many times it becomes need also where people get into this. Uh, what is your opinion about it, sir? Once again, uh, see, this is a personal trait. Slow down or no slow down. I have seen people you know, working on a construction site day and night. I see my security guards, they pay, They used to get paid only 5,000 rupees per month, but they were the honest people. You know, you honesty is a, a different trait within yourself. <coughs> Sorry. As for the slow down, it's concerned, there is a need for money. There's a need for survival. And people also, you know, they look for some kind of things in a pandemic like this. They, 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 there is a panic. There is a they, that brings some change in your characters and your behavior. There's no doubt about it. So when such things happen, then they, there should be uh, somebody should tell them. You know, I mean, how one person to uh, behave in a such a manner, what they can do for a person not to get into trap to these kind of they become a dishonest person. But you, you got to have role models. Where are the honest road models these days? Who do you follow? I mean, say so you see the fraud everywhere in the corporate, in the banking, in insurance, in a government, all scheme. The moment a scheme is announced by the government, those fraudsters start working. We have to break the code, you know? All the, yes, yes. I mean, so bureaucracy. Let's look at the bureaucracy. I mean, so what kind of the biggest cancer and corporate people? 
honchos you uh, they 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 so much of uh, i'm sorry to say we don't have uh, so many good role model for youngster to uh, follow to see ki ye banna chahiye bhi honest hona to kya hona chahiye honestly yes. aajkal good policy rahi nahi hai it is a bad policy now he said you're a stupid you know if you're not making extra money people think you're a stupid you know ab is they throw you out of the system तो जो फ्रॉड का जो एलिमेंट है ये जैसे आपके इंश्योरेंस में देखिए कितना फ्रॉड में देखता हूँ मुझे इतने साल हो गए इंश्योरेंस फ्रॉड को देखते हुए अब यू सी पीपल डायमंड मर्चेंट्स दे कैटिंग बेल्जियम बेस्ड डायमंड मर्चेंट्स द ह्यूज वेल्थ विद दे ऑल्सो स्टार्ट डूइंग द सेम थिंग बिकॉज दे थिंक दैट इट इज सम ट्रेट विद दम you know it is your trait those those, those th- within you so even if you have millions and millions even you want more jo dil mange more jo hai inhi ka to na raha hai ye aapka hamara nahi hum to guzara karte hain dil mange more inhi bade logon ka hai to isliye jo jab fraud hai ye ek badi it is it is 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 becoming in thing now i mean say anything you uh introduce or say uh, but most important is that how organization can protect themselves when you are being managed service by people individuals so you got to have a different system of identifying people who will run your organization jo psychometric mm-hmm. system of identifying the traits and habit that should be the most important factor to know like in army you know when you join an army they see you the officer like qualities if they yes. find the officer like quality in you then they select you for the army there's there's a ssb for this but in 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 a civilian environment uh, there is a lack of uh, such approach of selecting people uh, for for say about for managing your affairs for becoming your vendors or for becoming your agents in the field तो या तो सस्ता देखते हैं जी ये सस्ता काम करा इसको दे दो ये नहीं पता आपको कितना नुकसान पहुंचाएगा एग्जैक्टली सर एग्जैक्टली सो सर इनफैक्ट इन माय टेन आई हैव कम अक्रॉस लॉट ऑफ इंस्टेंसेस ऑफ फ्रॉड एंड uh where i have found some geographic specific uh, uh scenarios where frauds are uh, either uh, coming more from some areas some regions some states uh, have you uh, identified similar situations uh, in your career uh, or it is uh, all where everywhere it is spread no 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 it is a it is a sometime it becomes a community specific <laughs> some yes. is a regional uh, specific also and uh, yes. where your guards are down where you don't yes. have a good system to protect your uh, uh, interest people will start understanding you okay these are the people they're not very good at managing their own affairs they don't have those sops their systems are not very very secure so they start using that loopholes to get into things and take money out of your pocket there are areas you know i know when something happens Uh, with my experience i said oh, man if this has happened it's been these people are involved you know even in the in a in a, in a crime mentality uh, 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 during the british days they they identified some criminal tribes so it yeah. was a deep research into the mentality and lifestyle of those people uh, it was their need at the time to rob because uh, they were not very good in agriculture they were not any many things so even we as a as a investigator we have identified we okay if the financial frauds are happening in this area this type of person must be involved in this aapke insurance mein main bata sakta hu ki agar is area mein ho raha hai to insurance ka fraud kahan zyada ho raha hoga counterfeit kahan zyada ho rahe hogi kaun se log isko promote karte no this is uh, one study they as a as a as a as a physician you know where to put your finger and find out where is ulcer you know that kind of approach is Uh, for we professional as investigator also so we have our own uh, methodology to find out i agree with you there are uh, uh, areas region uh, where these these thin perpetrator or not and uh, uh, they they are known for this 
they are known for yes. this case. yes sir uh, but i will uh, nowadays um, in fact uh, i many times i get worried because my childs are uh, young in this world and uh, i have been seeing uh, the new generation which is coming up generation x millennials uh, and they are they basically don't go to shopping mall or they don't go out of their house to do any shopping they believe more into e-commerce business Uh, or recently like today morning i was discussing with hani hani is one of my companies our colleague and he he was just telling in one of the instances where they have booked a, uh, they have to shift their goods from one place to another place where the uh, the transport company uh, ha- who has a proper website who has a proper entire uh, description which is their uh, billing process and everything still they get cheated now Uh, now i feel uh, that in this e-commerce business which is uh, increasing day by day uh, are we indians are we ready to counter those kind of fraud uh, uh, and what all precaution we should take sir uh, when we are entering into uh, any purchases done through e-commerce uh, sites sir the e-commerce has become a big challenge it is a great facilitator also you get your things at your doorstep but yes. uh, once again it is the people who are managing it you know who are the people who bring your things to the godown from godown to the uh, to your doorstep and a courier company uh, they are very lowly paid people and uh, if your systems are in order if your selection process is very good even even your vendors i may say let me tell you when you order something uh, on a website there is somebody sitting on the website he will pass on that information to another vendor yes. and he will he will come and deliver you the same thing you don't know it is your insider your own people those who will betray the company and they join hand with those counterfeiters or people those who are not making that quality of goods no if you really want to set up a things first thing you must have a you know your own security policy you know people do have Finance policy, other policies, and all that they hardly uh, spend more time or money on the security policy. Security is a matter of survival of your enterprise. No, it is not a security guard. It's security is bit in totality. Your financial, uh, uh, you know, protection, the man protection, your reputation protection. If if I order something to a good company and if I get a bad thing delivered to me, you know, it is a it's a loss of your reputation. So, yes, in, yes. for that purposes, the corporates now in the new new, they must revisit the complete security policy, and intelligence yes. system, their selection processes. Now, this is the time that uh, uh, a, a new approach is uh, required to bring those kind of changes, so that you are not cheated, the people are not cheated, and your name is protected, your reputation is protected. There is a need for this. There is a need for this. Correct. correct sir i agree with you and if in this pandemic uh, and covid scenario if we as a uh, uh, managers who handle fraud investigation and security department for our company we have to change the approach we have to come up with the new process of selections and uh, deputation of people and entire process has to be relooked at uh so thanks with that and uh, so one uh, important uh, point which comes in my mind is whenever we see fraud uh, we can only see the small portion of it uh, uh, if you remember the story of iceberg where only the tip of the iceberg is seen today as a fraud whereas in depth there is long part which is unseen which got unnoticed so uh, my uh, uh, thought about it is what are th- what would be the uh, overall percentage of unnoticed uh, frauds which we are currently not noticing and what are the reasons why it is not getting noticed see i don't agree that it's not it's not getting noticed when a fraud yes. is taking place senior people are also involved middle people also know it is a connivance is a network is a nexus yes now one prime minister the former prime minister of india he said i send one rupee only the 10 naya paisa used to be called naya paisa that which is a poor man now if a prime minister making such a statement i send one rupee and the people get 10 naya paisa imagine to think he is not aware of it the journey from the government to the public and 90% 90 pesos are stolen 
by whom not by the people on the road it is it is a machine the your bureaucracy the functionaries other people no every every in organization you know no fraud can take place until there is a connivance it is not pickpocketing you know i'm saying you're walking and somebody pick your pocket as to the fraud is concerned is is not one man's uh, uh, you know job you have an excess of people majority of the financial fraud which we have detected it was always a, a top vice president finance and accounts and other people they take with all the money you know is not a small person chhota aadmi kitna paisa le jayega aapka lekin jitne bhi fraud ho rahe hain wo largely by people those who trust you you know you repose all your trust in your finance guy and he is the one who can you know cook the books can give you a different reports and how many companies imagine in the world how many company large company in the world they they just got perished because of the fraud within unhi ke logon ne fraud kiye bahale bank doob gaye badi badi companies doob gayi wo kahan kaun le gaya unko log nahi le jate ye aapke jo log hain jo managers or senior managers they evolve because they are brilliant people <laughs> they they evolve the loopholes in such a manner so they can take your money out of the company's coffers and then they 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 select their own uh, you know trusted people those who are equally greet greedy to paisa to wahan se jata hai ye bina uske connivance ke kuch nahi hota fraud ka so to some extent i exactly i agree to you because uh, i have been going through an article in past which was in fact saying the maximum fraud happens by the people who are in the company who are more than 6 years in company because they are well aware about the processes and all and the small frauds may happen at the lower level but the big frauds are actually happening by the senior people which we are not aware of also at any times or we are not uh, we are uh, we are just closing our eyes at times towards that area which uh, we as a corporate has to get seriously working into this and come out of those scenario uh, sir uh, with this modern world where uh, use of technology is helping the uh, investigation fertility to come out with even better outputs what do you feel uh, what all um, uh, is it really sharpening our skills or uh, without this also because earlier days also during chanakya days information used to come uh, but now also information are coming still the frauds are increasing day by day the frauds are increasing and we are unable to catch it so what is your opinion about it sir see the most important factor is your internal systems your processes yes. it is always man behind the machine you may evolve various kind of software artificial intelligence may might help you but imagine a person who go and sell your product if the bajaj alliance or other organization they want to sell their product in a village level no you go and sell your product in a such a manner that the find the person find useful and lucrative but your agents give such a picture to him or her in a such a manner that he knows that if he gets to convince this person for this way he also tell him we if you do this thing you will be benefited in this manner it is your own people i mean say what your software will do you can make an analysis of what's happening and all that what once again the human is a very important factor in this they if, if you your selection processes your uh, salaries you know if you pay less to people their needs are more so you have to yes. understand what kind of money is required you know no i must say uh, you see those factors i mean there is a they 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 there is a thin line between uh, honest and dishonest fellow when he becomes dishonest what is the reason why I, he may good nice person becoming a dishonest so there is a socio economic factor also when you go into exactly. the socio economic factor then that will give you an idea person sitting at your place or evolving such policies or actual policies financial policies must give much importance to these environment of a socio economic well selection so money is a very important if you pay 10 rupees extra you may save 100 rupees by giving 10 rupees to extra 
so that kind of approach which is very essential to understand you know i mean so you give less money to a soldier to fight he will start fighting from other side this been happening earlier also puri ki puri poj dusre raja ke sath chali jati thi to yahan pe aapke jo insight insight trading kya hoti hai आपके शेयर्स हैं अंदर के लोग खबर पास कर देते हैं अब रातों रात आपका शेयर चला जाता है यू 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 मैन नो इट इज़ ऑलवेज इनसाइडर्स लेट मी टेल आर आर राइट राइट सर एंड सर मनी पार्ट वन इम्पॉर्टेंट एरिया इज ऑल्सो वेन वेन प्रॉपर Action is taken on people. Uh, uh, like today, what happens? Uh, insurance fraud many times has been considered as a victimless crime. People feel that insurance me fraud kar liya. Jada jada kya hoga? Either the claim will be repudiated, or uh, they will not give me insurance. There are another so many insurance companies. I can go to another insurance company. I can take policies. So this is also creating a kind of confidence between the people that they can keep on doing fraud and they will be uh, yes. not noticed. so that is one area uh, sir uh, i am uh, very thankful to you in fact uh, uh, for this session uh, it has been lot of information which you shared uh, i being from the investigation fraternity and uh, there are many other people whom i get i could see they are also they have joined there are lot of questions that people have posted uh, but as uh, the time which we took from you is almost going to get over uh, so uh, i will individually like to answer them later on or i would take uh, your suggestions in uh, at later stage and i would answer them whenever required uh, uh, so thanks for your time uh, and for this session sir wonderful session from and the information which you have given thank you sir thank you very thank much you. thank you for for giving up to talk to you Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I'm available any time. Any any assistance, any guidance needed, or you want me to do something for, uh, I'm always available. Thank you very much for calling me. So nice. Sir. Thank you, sir. So now uh, to everyone who is over here, uh, in order to be smart uh, uh, from this session, what we have learned, this is important uh, for all of us to know. With this uh, session, if we have to be fraud smart, we have to be aware. we have to be cautious we have to be vigilant we should be strong enough and we should not get panicked if we are cheated or we when we fall in any kind of trap we should always have at our end preventive approaches in this new scenario when world is changing uh, we have to relook at our process we have to relook at our uh, our uh, protections which we have measured if we give opportunity to the fraudsters they will definitely cheat us and as sir has told us Uh, we these people who get cheated are deserve to be cheated so it is important we should have a preventive approach uh, we should definitely report back if we come across any fraud we should not keep silent and step back i have seen people who step back and they don't report any fraud i would request you guys to please report fraud then only the crime ratio will come down uh, thanking everyone over here and looking forward for a safe and secured world uh, to fight against fraud thanks you thank you thank you